guys. Um, I want, I'm going to wait a minute or two before I start talking today to see who joins me. When you get here, put a like, a love, a say, hey, something. Let me know you're here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to Lunch Break Live. I am Valencia Griffin Wallace, lifestyle designer, boldness coach. I am the founder of Define You Movement, in case you've never seen my face. Um, also the host of Define You Radio, which airs every Wednesday, including tonight, 7 p.m. Central. And the host and creator of Define You Live this year is our second annual event here in Gonzales, Louisiana. I hope you guys join us. Oh, and I'm also a new best-selling author, um, part of the Transition Create Your, The Life You Desire project. So, hey, Nene, I wanted to just pop in, welcome new members. I want to just pop in and tell you guys about watching what you say. Because at the end of the day, you attract, hey, Tasha, you attract what you focus on. So, if you, for instance, my uncle taught me this lesson years ago. Um, when somebody asks you to borrow money, instead of you saying you don't have it, just say, you know, I'm, just say no. Because if you say you don't have it, just like with anything, if you say you don't have it, you're going to find yourself in a position you don't have it, that you don't have it. Real talk. With your kids, you know, we think it's cute to say, oh girl, he's so bad, and or she's so bad, we think it's cute. But really, and then when your kids grow up and they really are bad, getting in trouble in school, where well, you've been speaking this over their life from a young age. Now, be honest, how many of how many times you guys have said that? You know, we got a tendency to call our kids bad when in all actuality they're just active. Or when you say, I'm I'm tired or I'm this. You you know, I read um I think Joel Osteen said that I am is the most some of the most powerful words in existence. Um, when you think about dating, if you focus on the kind of man you don't want, kind of woman you don't want, you're going to attract that thing. When you go check the mail, you know, some people have fear of checking the mail because, you know, or opening their email because they already know it's going to be bills in there. And I told some of you guys know I have the expectancy that something's good, something good's going to be in my mailbox. I'm expecting checks. Like I get mad if anybody else in the house checks the mail because I that's my I get excited from checking the mail cuz I'm expecting checks. Now whether or not that happen doesn't matter. But it's your mentality. It's the things you say we don't think about. Calling ourselves fat. Saying we, we don't feel good. Saying, you know, um, girl, I'm so broke. And stuff like that. But you wonder why certain things don't change. But you're saying these things out loud. And I had to... One of the things, anybody that works with me knows, one of the things I always say, uh, watch what you're saying. One of my clients and friends used to, um, would say her son wasn't good at math. He had a hard time with math. And I told her, I said, how is he ever going to believe that he can pass math if you already saying he's not good at it? You understand what I'm trying to say? A lot of times we have to, you know, um, watch what we say. Watch what you put out there. Because rather it's years down the line, your mind's still going to remember, oh, I'll never own a house. So don't be surprised if you never do. I'm never going to get married. Well, I mean, you're calling it. You're the fortune teller of your own life. And you're speaking BS over yourself. You attract what you speak. That's why I always say, watch what you say. Watch what you say. And I know it's hard because sometimes things come out of our mouth before it goes through that brain filter. But when you say something that you know is not speaking life into you, then say, oh, my bad, and rephrase it. Because one of the things, I don't like to lend money, right? Because I'll get an attitude if you don't pay me back. So... I would just say, you know, I don't have it. And I got in the habit of saying that. 
And then eventually, you know, and at this point in time in my life, when I used to have that mentality, I did have financial issues. But I'm already calling it because I I don't have it. So now I just say uh no, or I have something else to do with my money, or just no. No is always my favorite word. So I just want you guys to say um, to think about what are you what are you saying? What are you putting out there? What are you speaking over yourself, your your future, your uh, kids? I never used to say Cameron was bad. I would say he was active because he was very active. And Cameron never got in trouble as a as a kid or as an adult. So we have to watch, you know, what we say to ourselves. We have to watch what we put out there. You never know who's listening. You could be meaning God, pr praying to God for uh, energy because you're so tired and the devil hears you. Oh, well, she already saying she tired. I'm going to play into that and make her more tired. I'm going to give her an actual reason to be tired. You guys understand what I'm telling you? So I just want you to just watch what you say as much as you can. And focus on claiming the things you want in life versus the things you don't want. You know, when you have like an A to B car and you like... Uh, I don't want this car to break down. I don't want this car to break down. And the car break down and you get, you surprised. But you focus on the car breaking down. I've never been on side of the road with a car step one time. One time I got a, um, I had a blowout. And what's crazy, this was so many years ago, but the traffic was crazy. And I was like, I hope nothing happens. That I'm on side the road. And I ended up having a blowout. I've only had a blowout once in my life. And that was that time. Because I was focusing on that. So I want you guys to try to in, to intentionally watch what you say over, over you. Over your kids. Over your money. Over your house. Over your life. You know if you say I got so much drama in my house. It's not going to change. It's not. If you say, I have so much drama in my relationship, so much BS in my relationship, it's not going to change. You know, I called myself a, a, an author and a speaker and a businesswoman long before I even became any of those things. You know, I, I called myself a best-selling author before, like when we...